We asked industry experts and valued customers what questions they are being asked regarding intermittent technology within the architectural ironmongery industry. So hi, good morning Russ, my name's Elliot Brown, I'm from the Fire Door Inspectors. My question to you this morning is, when specifying replacement smoke seals, what would you recommend uh, as a replacement and why would it be A, a brush, a brush seal or would it be B, uh, a fin seal and what are the benefits of both? Okay, all right. thanks for your question, good question. Um, so really there's there's kind of three types of smoke seals. You've got brush type and a rubber fin type, and those two are normally incorporated with the intumescent seal. And then you have a third type, which is a perimeter type, something like a bat wing seal or a teardrop seal or buffer stop seal. But if we look at the, the brush seal within the marketplace, they're still deemed to be the remote, the most robust option. So they do tend to get specified in schools and areas for high traffic usage, and particularly where you perhaps have trolleys and things moving through doorways where the doors and the jabs are subject to quite a bit of abuse. The rubber fins quite often will get used where there's perhaps a, a higher hygiene level required in hospitals, kitchens, environments, things like that, because they're much easier to wipe clean. And also the other big advantage of the rubber seal is the the resistance it puts on the opening and closing forces of the door as well. So again, in sort of care home environments, perhaps primary school environments, even where you know the people physically open the doors don't have quite the strength, then they certainly offer less resistance. Um, the rubber fins as well have the advantage that they offer an, a higher acoustic level um, as well. So again, music room environments within schools, things like that, where, where there's a higher acoustics needed, the rubber fins are quite often specified. But both the brush and the rubber fins are both tested to the same standard. So, you know, providing you have the test evidence there, quite often it comes down to the customer or the client's preference as well. But in general, brush for the more robust areas and thin, perhaps where you don't need so much resistance put on the opening and closing forces of the door, or where there's a white clean, sort of more hygienic environment involved. And the perimeter seals are used, again, to quite good effect because they're not interrupted with the ironmongery positions. They do tend to give a better smoke leakage performance and they do enhance the acoustic side of the door as well. So perimeter seals we, we see getting used increasingly more, especially at uh, manufacturer stage. So hopefully <laughs> a brief overview, but that gives you an answer to the question. Has you got anything further? No, it's brilliant. It's just when when I do engage with clients and I can now go back to them with the benefits of both. And it's yep. exactly what I was hoping for this morning. So thank you. OK, no problem at all. Thanks for your question. Take care of yourself.